the erotic 365 days film series that has everyone talking recently made a return to netflix with its second installment 365 days this day the second part of the film ends on a cliffhanger but will there be a part three to wrap up laura and massimo's story and if so when will the movie arrive while the first outing was panned by critics the series proved to be a viral hit and already fans are looking forward to a third installment the big news is that part three has already been confirmed so fans of laura and massimo's story will definitely revisit the pair and see what they get up to next part three is sure to feature more twists and turns hopefully some answers and certainly a lot more sex so here is everything we know so far including release date speculation plot information and returning cast members so without further ado let's start the video When was the next 365 days confirmed? In May 2021, Netflix announced both the second and third movies would be filmed back to back from May to June 2021, which is good news for the next film's arrival. Lucas Kluskiewicz, content acquisition manager of Netflix Films for CEE and Poland said, We're working closely with Blanka Lipinska the author of the 365 Days trilogy of books and writer of the film, to continue Laura and Massimo's story on screen. Their journey together is full of many twists and turns, as our characters continue to grow and learn more about themselves. 365 Days 3 Cast, Who's Coming Back for the Next 365 Days? According to the official announcement of Netflix, the original cast of Michelle Moroni and Anna Maria Siklucka in the roles of Massimo and Laura, respectively are expected to return in 365 Days 3. They'll also be joined by newcomer Simone Susina as Nacho, who in the sequel, fell in love with Laura. Their blossoming relationship is probably ruined by the revelation that he's the son of a rival mafia boss, who's the eternal rival of Massimo's family. Meanwhile, Magdalena Lamparska and Otar Saralids will also be back as Olga and Domenico, who announced their own engagement in the second film. Grazina Sapolowska and Tomasz Stockinger could also return, as Laura's parents Clara and Tomasz, but it seems unlikely we'll see a return for Natasa Urbanska, whose character Anna appeared to be very much killed off at the end of the second film. 365 Days 3 Potential Release Date Although we know for certain that a third film in the series is definitely on the way, its precise release date on Netflix remains unclear at this stage. An official release date for 365 Days 3 has not yet been revealed by Netflix. This might be a bit disappointing, but hang on there. Given the pattern of announcing the premiere date one month prior to its release, we can expect the same from the final movie. Luckily for fans the second and third movies filmed back to back, so we don't have to wait for the threequel to shoot. According to IMDb Pro, filming of the third movie began around July 2021 but came to a close sometime in April this year. From this, we can at least infer that we might be getting the third film the next 365 days in a couple of months. Again, please note that these are all the best speculations we can come up with. 365 Days 3 Plot As with the first two films in the trilogy, 365 Days 3 will be based on the novel by Blanka Lipinska, although it's possible one or two deviations could be made from the source material. As if the revelation of Massimo's twin brother wasn't enough, the sequel also ended with Laura being shot by Anna. It's only natural to find viewers being hungry to know more. Given the plotline in the book, Laura and Massimo's relationship is going to get ruined. Not many readers had supported that take, it gives all the more reason to watch out for the next 365 days. It's the second time that Laura's fate has been left ambiguous, but surely we'll see her back in the third movie. She might have some explaining to do with Massimo though, as she didn't tell him that she lost their baby during the accident at the end of the first movie. 
Massimo's twin Adriano revealed it to him during the tense showdown, but Massimo obviously didn't have time to dwell on it as Laura was shot. While the first movie closely followed the book, the sequel changed certain plot elements to tone down the potential controversial edges. In the book series, Nacho was a hitman who kidnapped Laura, who again started to fall in love during her captivity. It means we can expect similar changes when it comes to the third movie, especially as the plot of the third book left fans very unimpressed. So that's for today, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell to receive future updates.